In this chapter, we're going to cover managing your refills and the many ways you can go about handling refills in the software. Now, the first thing you need to know is which prescriptions are ready to be refilled. Now, you can do this two different ways. We have a queue set up. If you visit queue, Rx pending to be refilled, which will show you a queue based on a specific date range, which prescriptions are ready to be refilled. Now, you can customize the date range that you need in order to just show the refills that you need. Now, for example, if I would like to refill one of these scripts or many of these scripts, I can simply click on the one I need, select refill. The software will now ask me what refill date I would like to use on the prescription. It will default to today's date. And there you have it. The prescription has been refilled. I can click save. The software will alert me of any interactions, duplicate therapies. In this case, there seems to be a duplicate therapy with a prescription I'm saving and a prescription in his current history. I can return to the prescription, print the duplicate therapy out, or just proceed and bypass the warning. Since it is a cash prescription, it won't ask me to transmit, just simply print my label. Now, the next thing you can do is you can print a report to see what prescriptions need to be refilled. And you can do this by going to reports. You can visit the RX refill reminder report. You can display or you can print. I like to select display so I can view the prescriptions before I print. Now the software will ask you to select the date range in order to extract the report for the prescriptions belonging for that date range. Once you've displayed the report, if you would like to print it, you can simply click on the print icon at the top of the screen and use the report to now fill the prescriptions that you need. So with the report in hand, I can visit the patient that I need, sample Nick for example, and I can click on the refill icon located at the top of the screen. This refill icon will only appear if a patient has been selected. In the refill icon, you will see all the prescriptions this patient has to be refilled. I can select as many as I need to refill and select the refill button. Now the software will ask me what refill date I would like to use for each prescription. Now that I have all the prescriptions filled, I can click on save. The software again will perform the battery of checks for interactions, duplicate therapies. I can again return to the prescription if I need to make a change, print it out, or just bypass with proceed. Now it, again, it's cash prescription, it's not going to ask me to transmit anything, it's just going to ask me to print the label. Now the other method you can use to refill a prescription is to simply click on cycle fill and use refill by Rx number. Using the refill by Rx number method, you simply type in the Rx number you need to refill, select enter. The software will move it to the bottom of the screen in the Rx to be refilled category. You can type as many Rx numbers as you need and simply select fill. The software will now refill that prescription. All you have to simply do is select save. If you'd like to print out the label, you can print it and proceed. 